guys, so I have something today that I'm excited to share with you and this might make me kind of an old lady <laughs> to be really excited about this, but I wanted to share it with you because I know that a lot of you um, really love tea too and I don't know what your tea storage is like, but mine is like crazy and out of control. Like I've got like one cupboard in my pantry that's pretty small as it is, like dedicated to my teas and my teas are like all over the place. Like I don't know what I've got in there because I got stuff behind other stuff. So. I've been looking for a while for something to store my teas in that is more efficient, that I can easily access, and that displays my teas in an easier way. So I've been looking at some like storage boxes, and I've, you know, the ones that are like the wood, and they, they've, they've got like a cover on them, and you have to open it up to see what teas are inside, but I never really liked any of those enough to get them. Like they either didn't hold enough tea, or I was like thinking I wouldn't be able to see what kind of tea it is because some of the teas you have to like put in like this and then you have to like pull the tea out to see what tea it is. Anyway, I didn't want something that was, that I had to work that much for. So when I saw this, I saw this on somebody's Instagram. I don't know who it was because I only saw the picture once and then I couldn't find it again. So it might've been, I was like searching through the, you know, search on Instagram where I was just like looking for pictures. It might not have been anybody that I'm actually following, but I saw this. This is the Uto U the Eucopia, and it's the, the tea stand. So it's like a plastic, it's a plastic stand that holds the teas in these plastic containers on the side, so that way you could see them. So it's, it looks like this in your cabinet, so you can either face it, you know, like down or like this. So it stores tea on both sides of the container, and it's four and a half, or 4.9 inches um, with and it stores 100 plus tea bags in less than five inches of space. So I was really excited when I saw this and I went to Amazon and like bought it immediately because I need something really badly to store my teas. So I wanted to show you guys this and then I wanted to show you my storage now and I wanted to show you my tea collection. So I got this in the mail yesterday and my husband really wanted to like open it up and put all the teas in but I was like no I'm gonna film a video. So <laughs> I, I wanted to do this today so I can get it get it done so we can have the teas all stored. So here is just what comes in the box. It's just the, so it's already all, woo, there we go. It's already all pre put together so you don't have to worry about putting anything together. It just comes with um, like a thank you, no assembly required sort of thing. And then it's, it talks about, it can hold, it's got 12 clear bins that can hold up to eight to 12, 120 tea bags, eight to 10 per bin, depending on size of the tea bag. And then you can view something on the website for an instructional video. And there we go. So it says, so we can take out these little protector things in the dividers. And then it says to just, you can just lift out the plastic, the plastic thing. So they have got like this dealy here. So you can just take the tea, the tea bin out and just put it back in like that by lifting and that. So it's really easy, super cool. So I'm going to go into my kitchen now and I'm gonna show you what I've got already set up, or not really set up, but what my current storage situation is like. And then I'm gonna show you me organizing and putting all my teas into this. And then I will come back and talk about it some more. So here is what I've currently got going on in the shelf that's sort of dedicated to my teas. As you can see, there's not much organization. The way that I've really got it set up is like my most used teas are like in the front and then the ones that I don't drink as much are in the back. And then I've just got, I've got stuff like everywhere. So this is not efficient and I'm using up an entire cupboard except for some like sugar and stuff I got back there. But there's an entire cupboard dedicated to teas that I could be using for like other things because my pantry space is kind of limited. So I'm gonna take all this out and put it on the counter and then I will show you all of my teas and me setting up my new tea stand. Okay, so this is kind of crazy. I did not realize I had this much tea, but I found some that it was stashed in the back that I didn't know was there. So um, I we've got this tea, tea chino. I don't remember, I don't even know how long we've had this. It might not even be good anymore. I don't know, it's still good. Um, but this is sort of like coffee replacement. It's like a dark roast chocolate tea it's not coffee i don't it's i don't know my husband drinks this i don't and he might he hasn't even had this in a long time so i don't even know if he still wants this but there's a couple bags still in there there's this earl gray from tazo sometimes i like some earl gray tea um these are my husband's he's got the tazo chai 
the Tazo Green China Tips, the Bigelow Green Tea Classic, and then what else is his? This Green Tea, Pure Green Tea is his. And then he is, he, this, this new me, Pure Tea, Emperor's Pure, I don't know. He hasn't had this one yet, we just got it. And then this one, the Rooibos, he really likes. And the rest of these are mine. Um, so I've got the traditional medicinal raspberry leaf tea, the stash oolong tea white peach, um, this stash organic white tea with mint is really good. The roasted dandelion root I don't like at all. <laughs> My husband might like it, he hasn't tried it yet, but I don't like this. Um, I don't really like coffee, and I've read or I heard that some people say that this is a good alternative to coffee, so that might be why I don't like it, because this taste is so strong, but I don't like that one. So then I've got the traditional medicinals, um, organic weight loss cranberry. I like this when I'm feeling like really bloated. It's, this does seem to help with water weight. Um, then I've got the green tea, blueberry slim life tea, which is this sort of the same. I drink this when I'm feeling not my best, but then I do like this one, which is the dandelion. This is the traditional medicinals everyday detox. With dandelion, this one isn't as strong, and this one actually I think tastes more like, let's see, yeah, it's got bitter fennel, in licorice root in it, which I think it tastes more like those than the dandelion, so that's probably why I like that one more. Then I've got the Yogi Peach Detox, the Yogi Women's Moon Cycle, the Yogi Soothing Caramel Bedtime, and then the Cinnamon Vanilla Healthy Skin, which I don't really like. I need to just try to make myself finish these because I don't like them, but then the Skin Detox Tea is my favorite, and I do order this one in bulk on Amazon, so I have quite a stash of it because I go through it pretty quickly. So I've got four extra boxes of those, one extra of the healthy skin and one extra of the moon cycle. So this is all of my tea. It's definitely not going to all fit in here, but I'm going to try to fit what I can. And then I found this stashed in the back too. I'm going to get rid of it because I do not drink Lipton tea anymore. I don't even know how long we've had this, but this is going in the trash and now I'm going to work on getting this filled. Okay, so here's what I was able to get in. Um, some of the stuff didn't fit in. I put a lot of like backups in here so they didn't all fit in like one of these containers. So I've got a few different kinds of tea stored in here. There's like this tea that wouldn't fit in there and then I've got some others. I did put some of this in there so that could actually go there. But these didn't go in I figured because I had a detox tea and a, ras a red raspberry leaf tea. tea a red raspberry tea already in there. I figured these could wait until those were out. And then I've got these that I don't even know that we want. Um, this one that my husband doesn't drink too much, and this one I need to figure out if it's still good or not. But this is what made it in. So these are all the boxes I'm able to get rid of because I got most of it stored in here. So I've got my husband's rooibos tea. The I've got actually two different kinds of green tea in here. I've got the rest of this Yogi Pure Green Tea. There wasn't very many bags. And then I've got the Tazo Green Tips in here. And then I've got the mint tea, I've got the pure tea, the white peach oolong, the soothing caramel bedtime. I got all my skin detox, the healthy skin, blueberry slim life, the weightless, everyday detox, and then organic raspberry leaf tea. So I got a good amount of stuff in here. And I'm, able to, I'm going to be able to store this much easier in that cabinet and it'll look much nicer. And then I can just get rid of all these boxes and then I'm going to put this back in and I'll show you what I've got after that. So I put all of like my backup skin detox tea and healthy skin tea um, back there because um, it's out of the way then. And then I just put the tea storage like this in the cabinet so we can just easily pull it out and see, grab what we want and then stick it back in. I didn't want to put too much up against it so that way um, I couldn't, you know, get it out of there easily. And then I've got these other ones that aren't in the container. So there's the Moon Cycle, um, the Chai, Green Tea, and then Peach Detox Tea. And then these three I think I might end up getting rid of because I don't know how much we're going to drink them because we haven't had these in years and this I don't like. So we'll see what I'm going to do about these. I might get rid of them though. So that is, that is everything. So that was all of my tea storage. I've got everything now, or at least mostly everything in this, in this thing now. And I might actually pick up a second one 
if we start to accumulate more tea or just to you know clean up that cabinet just a little bit more but I really like this thing it's really compact it's it takes up a lot less room in the cupboard than just like all those boxes of tea and it's easy to just pull out grab what you want and put back in it's easy to fill you can just take these little things out and then just stick them back in um, it fits a decent amount in each little bin. It de I think it sort of depends on the kind of tea and like how full the bag is. Because I think with some of these these Yogi ones, it's harder to fit more than like 10 in because they're filled more towards the bottom so it fills up the space more than say like these traditional medicinal ones you can actually get more in because they're full more evenly toward around the, the tea bag. So I think it depends on the size of the tea bag and how much is in the tea bag depends and that will depend on how many you can fit in these little bin things so um the new me teas too that, that was another one that you can get a good number in because the tea bags are relatively the same size and i did play around with like the order like i put one facing up one facing down on some of these just to get more space because otherwise you couldn't get as much in so i definitely think this is a pretty cool thing to have I really am glad that I bought it and I just wanted to share with you guys all of my teas and now how I store my teas and how I was storing my teas before which was kind of crazy um, but I'm really happy I got this thing and I hope you enjoyed this video I'll leave the link for this down to for Amazon in case you're interested it is a little pricey it's 30 bucks but you know what it's pretty good quality it's not like super cheap it's not cheap looking it's like sturdy and you can get a, like a really large number of teas in here i didn't even count how many tea bags i put in here but i know it's well over 100 so definitely think it's worth the investment especially if you have a lot of teas in bags like i do loose leaf tea is a different story um we don't use a lot of loose leaf tea we have a few tins but we don't we use the bags more than we use the loose leaf so this is a really nice storage option so i'll leave the link for that below and i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye